There are few jobs in the world that sole purpose is to put your life at risk to save another, where the line between success and failure is literally who lives and who dies. Today, a remarkable Coast Guard team who braved some of the roughest waters ever seen off the Carolinas were honored in Elizabeth City. The reason? The seemingly impossible rescue of a Canadian and his mate after their ship went down. Here's Eric Sorensen. Can you see the raft? Neither could the rescue crew. And out there, Ottawa's Rudy Snell and two companions. Their boat capsized hours before, clinging to a raft some 400 kilometers from land. Goners. I thought it was just a matter of time. And I had to think, well, there's no way out of this. Can't escape this. Just the, the size of the waves is what made this so, uh, so harrowing at the time. The waves were 20 meters, 60 to 70 feet high, when the helicopter and raft spotted each other. It was surreal, as if it were out of a movie. And into that water went Drew Dazzo. I could see the looks on their faces like they could not believe that there was a helicopter and somebody coming out of it, out of it to rescue them out of the water. But he put his elbow over the site and says, that, how are y'all doing? I said, you guys are amazing. The ordeal wasn't over, the pilot trying to keep the helicopter aloft. That was my first time out in waves that big. And any time I couldn't see the next wave, I would come up in altitude to see the next one coming. And back, the flight mechanic barking instructions to the pilot, trying to hoist the men below. It's 4 and right 40, 4 and 30, 4 and right 20, 4 and right 10, hold, 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 back and left 30. And the wave would pick them up and ran them right underneath us. American Jean-Pierre Deloutz, with broken ribs, was first to be hoisted aboard. Then Canadian Rudy Snell was pulled in. And Rudy climbed out of the basket. And when he kind of took a big breath of air, I think he really realized, okay, I'm safe. Then Britain Ben Tai was hauled aboard. But by now, the rescuer himself was in distress, injured and weak. It was kind of like being in the washing machine on the agitating cycle. For a second, it went through my head. Um, what are I possibly going to say to his wife if I can't get him home? Finally, Drew Dazzo was hauled aboard. Second class, Drew D. Dazzo. Eight. Today, seven months on, Dazzo and his colleagues were honored with medals to recognize their courage. And there to watch, Rudy Snell. They're incredible. They don't have to put themselves in jeopardy if they don't want to, or if they chose to. Why do they do it? it? Makes you feel like you really did something worthwhile. You were able to have somebody go back to their families, you know, and, and actually love again and, and, and be at one with their family instead of being lost out at sea and never knowing what happened to them. Rudy Snell's life was on the line and hopes it never happens again. His rescuers will put their lives on the line again, willingly. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Elizabeth City, North Carolina. A half dozen air crews from the Coast Guard Station in Elizabeth City, North Carolina, were recognized in ceremonies this morning. And yeah, they were honored for rescuing 12 boaters during bad weather last spring. Ten of your sides, Ava Hurdle reports. 80 knot winds, 70 foot seas, wicked weather, the scene captured from the camera lens of a Coast Guard helicopter. Three men aboard a 44 footer headed across the Atlantic to the Azores, forced to turn on their emergency locator beacons some 220 nautical miles southeast of Elizabeth City, North Carolina. And we went from being totally convinced it was only a matter of time to thinking we, uh, we might make it. The air station pro provided inspirational, often heroic search and rescue response. On Snell was on hand for ceremonies honoring the Coast Guard for its rescue response, including Petty Officer Drew Dazzo, who assisted Snell. We got on scene and we found him, and uh, it was the decision to lower me down and go into the water and, uh, and, and pull all three of them out one by one from the raft. Dazzo and other rescuers received commendations and medals in recognition of their heroic actions. That were it not for the actions of these air crews we have honored today, there would be those for whom the holidays this time around would have indeed been very, very different. Snail realizes that and he's grateful the Coast Guard showed up when they did. Without them, uh, three of us wouldn't be around anymore. And that's not a maybe, that's for sure. He came to personally thank everyone involved in his rescue. In Elizabeth City, North Carolina, Ava Hurdle, 10 on your side.
And the Coast Guard's Elizabeth City Air Station conducts homeland security and maritime safety missions across the eastern Atlantic region. And also in Elizabeth City today, thanks that a tragedy didn't happen. Six air crews from Coast Guard Air Station Elizabeth City were honored for rescuing 12 mariners in adverse conditions last May and April. As Ken Hynek reports, a survivor from one of the four rescue and search missions says he never thought he'd be watching the man who saved him receive an award. It's a day Rudy Snell will never forget. The three of us talking about it later agreed it was... As if we'd seen it in a movie. He's talking about the day in April Drew Dazzo saved his life. Very humbling experience. Makes me feel good to see him alive and he's here with his family and uh, it's just uh, it's, a, it's a great day. Wednesday, Snell looked on as Dazzo was given a gold star for his efforts. The Coast Guardsman risked his life out in the Atlantic waters that April day to rescue Snell. He was injured during the mission off the coast of Wilmington. Over 60-foot waves and gale force winds caused several setbacks to saving Snell and two other boaters' lives. Uh, there was some concern on the aircraft about getting him back. It was the message Snell was told on his way back to the coast, a trip he also couldn't envision during rescue efforts. We thought nobody was looking for us. Then when the C-130 flew by the first time, we couldn't believe it. But then after a lot more time waiting in the raft with a C-130 flying by several times. Uh, we thought that a helicopter couldn't possibly fly in those conditions. And even though Snell lives in Canada and Dazzo lives here in eastern Carolina, the two, through it all, became lifelong friends. He calls me just to see how I'm doing and uh, we shoot the breeze for a little while. So I think we've become, we've become good friends. In Pasquotank County, Ken Hynek, WITN News. Air Station Elizabeth City is home to five MH-60 helicopters and four C-130 fixed-wing aircrafts that execute homeland security and maritime safety missions throughout the eastern Atlantic region.